This series dives into the four-layered architecture. We are starting with the infra layer, where we handle HTTP, date formatting, storage, and other fundamental pieces. Why is it so crucial to manage complexity? If you've ever opened a component file full of nested conditions or spent hours debugging why the app doesn't work right after an API update, you know the feeling. Complexity is a silent killer in software development. It sneaks up on you as features pile up, the team grows, and suddenly adding a small update takes hours. A lack of structure can turn your view app into a tangled mess. So where does the infra layer come into play? This layer handles the foundational tech like HTTP requests, data persistence in storage, or date formatting. Think of it as the backbone of your app. Things that shouldn't change often, but when they do, you don't want it to break everything. For instance, imagine you're using Axios for HTTP requests throughout your app. One day a new library appears that's better, faster, and more efficient. If every component calls Axios directly, you're stuck refactoring hundreds of files. But with an infra layer, all those calls are handled in one place. You swap out Axios, drop in the new library, with no need to touch every component. So let's look at how to set this up in view. Start by defining an interface for each piece of tech that you may need swapping out. Let's use date formatting as an example. We'll create a date-time interface to abstract any date-related operations, such as is same day and add days. Next, we create an adapter that implements this interface using moment.js. This pattern is known as the adapter pattern, which makes it easy to swap implementations if needed. The moment adapter class implements the date-time interface, allowing date comparisons and date manipulation using moment.js functions, while keeping these methods abstracted for easy swapping of date libraries in the future. By following this approach, your entire app doesn't need to know about Moment.js directly. The app only interacts with the date-time interface, so if you later switch to another library like DataFinesse, it's as easy as swapping out the adapter. Now, what if we decide to use DataFinesse instead of Moment.js? This would usually be a major refactor, but with our adapter pattern, it's simple. First, we implement DateFNS with the same date-time interface. And here's the key to making the swap seamless. In the index.ts file, we just changed the adapter we're using. Now, everywhere in our app, calls to date methods won't need to know about the specific implementation details like moment or date FNS. They just call functions from the infra layer, and we control everything from a single place. This keeps our code flexible and our infra layer rock solid. By mastering concepts like layered architecture, you're setting yourself up not just to build view apps, but to build them to last. If you found this useful, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss part 2 where we tackle the API client layer. Thanks for watching, be seeing you in the next one.